essentially, um, it's mostly the detective speaking. Uh, Mr. Copeland um, has a few lines in there as well, but it's mostly the detective speaking. And the detective is giving what I would define, what I would call a, a speech um, about how they want Mr. Williams, how Mr. Williams is using others for his, quote, their words, reign of power, and how Mr. Williams eliminates people or his, his enemies. His enemies is, is my, my verbiage. Um, people is what the detective says. So um, if we look at line 14. On page 499? Page, page 499, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, the detective Dennis is talking. He says, you want to know what we want. We want the stuff to stop. If you all were just making music, I <coughs> like rap music. I like some of Thug's music. Um, I think that she says every now and then. The transcript says if he has any. Um, Mr. Copeland just replies, yeah. Detective Dennis goes on and says, but that ain't what's going on. That's a that's a fake card for indiscernible all this other stuff. That's a detective talking, giving his opinion. Mr. Copeland responds, it didn't start until we got thug. And then Detective Dennis responds, exactly. He, he, he basically used y'all as his gunners to help him get this reign of power. Nut, get out the way. You, you're a threat. Anybody that's a threat, he eliminates them, eliminates them. So at what point do y'all figure out that y'all can be eliminated too? He don't care about nobody but himself. <clears throat> what what is sounds? Um, Ms. Copeland says, oh, well, that's what it is. Detective Dennis says, so why would you stick around and let this man bring to your demise? So um, I'm going to go back to, uh, to some things I say often. Uh, sounds to me like it seems to me that this is an easy one. Right. Um, the state is going to disagree. Um, but this is Detective Dennis. You know, none of this is relevant. The detectives thinking about, you know, uh, what Mr. Williams's music means or what type of person, uh, what his character is, um, is absolutely not relevant. There, there's nothing that this adds to the case. There's nothing that this adds to any. It's not it's not an item, an item of evidence. It's just the detective's opinion. Um, Wherever he gets his opinion from, whatever he forms that opinion based upon, uh, that's him. But but it's it's not relevant. His opinion is not relevant. It touches upon Mr. Um, Mr. Williams' character. It defines Mr. Williams' character in a way that is impermissible. And again, it's not based on any any fact or evidence. It's based upon his opinion, and it's a commentary upon Mr. Williams' music and what it means. Which again is the detective's opinion that has no relevance whatsoever for the jury's consideration. And so just, just based upon that, uh, and of course, there's no, doesn't give any foundation. I'll, I guess I'll throw that word in there, foundation for where the detective is getting this opinion other than just that's what he thinks. Um, um, his opinion is more prejudicial than probative. I would say it's not probative at all. And so I'd ask that it be redacted. Your Honor, the state... Um, we'll agree that beginning at page line 23 of what page man? of page 499 to um, page 6 of 500. You mean page 6 of, of 500 or page 500 line 6? I'm sorry. So page 499 beginning at line 23. Where it says Detective Dennis exactly he 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 basically used y'all as his gunners. Through page five hundred, line six. Okay. Um tell me why you think that I should uh, The State has no objection to that portion being redacted. Okay, oh, that the line 22 of page 499. No, line 23. Line 23 of, of, page. of page 499. So Yes, through line 6 of page 500. To um, page 500, line 6. The state has no objection to redacting that portion. Okay, let's talk about the, the I guess, the rest, the, the, the from line... 14 um, through 22. 
Yes, yes, ma'am. Your Honor, in line 14 through 22, Detective, well, let's go a few lines before this. Um, prior to this particular um, statement that Mr. Investigator Dennis says, they're, they're still talking about um, Copeland's kind of concern still about being labeled a snitch and um, who, you know, he's in this space of what do I do? If I tell, then the streets aren't going to like me. If I don't tell, this could happen to me. And what Detective Dennis says to him is, we want this stuff to stop. If y'all were just making music, he says, I like rap music. I like some of Thug's music every now and then. Copa says, yeah, but that ain't what's going on. That's a fake car, all this other stuff. And then Copa says, it didn't start until we got with Thug. This line is in direct contradiction to the defense's assertion and opening um, that the focus of their investigation was all about Young Thug and his music. That we attacked um, as the state as the police officers, that we were only focused on using these lyrics and this music, and then we created a case solely based off of the music. And this is a direct contradiction to that. Um, in the course of the investigation, the investigator, Investigator Dennis, is telling Mr. Copeland, this is not even about the music. Matter of fact, I like some of his music. This is about what has been happening in these streets what the shootings that have been going back and forth for now at this point six months and putting it into that and encouraging Copeland to continue to tell the truth about what has happened. And then Copeland's response to that is this didn't start until we got with the until he, I believe when the we is him, the Mickey and Shannon, that all of this violent stuff started happening and it's not just about the music and so we believe that this is in direct contradiction to the assertion that the police officers were solely focused on music and lyrics in this case but no they were focused on stopping crime and it had nothing to do with the music so for those reasons your honor we believe that that portion is relevant mr adams so the only the only thing that's uh, two things Number one, I think we all know that uh, what is said in opening not and not evidence, uh, questions by the attorneys uh, aimed at getting at a certain point, not evidence. Um, and so what, what they have to prove in court, they have to prove by way of evidence. What the detective says in this excerpt, and we're talking strictly about line 14 through line 22, um, this is the detective's opinion on what the music is or is not. So for example, if you look at line 19, when he says, but that ain't what's going on, that's a fake card for all this other stuff. Well, if, if that's the case, then let's prove it with evidence as opposed to giving the jury the detective's opinion as to what that is. Because without, it, without more, um, what, the, what the jury ends up getting is the detective's soliloquy on what he thinks uh, the music means uh, whether or not it's being it's being uh, propagated for for art or whether or not it has something indeed to do with the rest of the case or or any of the criminal activities that are being um, that have been indicted and and they've got to put that prove that with evidence I just don't think that there's anything here um, I don't think his, number one his opinion is not relevant in regards to, to this this item of evidence. Um, and I think there's a fair amount of speculation on the state's part. I, again, I've, I've said it before. I, I understand they have their theory. But when Madam Prosecutor says that uh, Mr. Copeland's response, um, it didn't, on line 22, it didn't start until we got thug. When she opines, well, when he says we, uh, he means Shannon and Demekian, and this is who he means. Well, there's, there's no, they don't know that. They don't know that any more than, than we do, unless Mr. Copeland gets on the stand and says, hey, um, this is what I meant. And this is who I'm talking about. That hasn't happened yet. Uh, so that part is just speculation. But overall, um, these few lines that we're talking about is nothing other than the detective's speculation as to what he thinks the music is and his opinion. And that's not relevant and should not be allowed. Yes, one more, one more. May I add something? Else? Sure. Um, <coughs> also regarding this, you know, the state is, is making the argument that this out-of-court statement should be played because of 
arguments that some defense counsel uh, made during opening statements. My recollection is that certainly that investigator Dennis has been on the stand and he provided live testimony rebutting the defense argument about following lyrics and instead said, no, we follow crime and then found lyrics. I believe that was Dennis. It may have been Gaither. Anyways, the state has provided live testimony regarding that issue and their counter to whatever was argued in opening that they say was argued in opening. So I don't know why we would, knowing that this has been argued through live testimony, I don't know why we would allow out-of-court statements, hearsay statements that I also have problematic parts in, in speculation, as, as Mr. Adams has uh, stated. I don't know why we would allow that into evidence when the state has already been allowed through live testimony to address this issue. Okay. And, and if, if I may just add very briefly, I also think that the, um, this is probably not necessary because, as I stated before, uh, what's said in opening and, and the questions of the attorneys that are not evidence. Um, but now, the other thing I was going to mention, Mr. Sharp just reminded me, um, the court is very aware that you are not required to present any evidence at this point in time. You have not elected that uh, decision, and that's of no consequence to me what they're saying you re you've said. Oh, you, oh, you've oh, said. So I'm, I'm not taking that from that vein at all. Oh, so. oh, so true. And, and I, I do think that it is, um, and I know it's been a long time. We, we did opening back in November or whenever it was. Yeah, it was November, I right. think, yeah. Um, you know, but, but I think the state is remembering correctly what Mr. Steele said in opening. I, I, I do recall that he made reference to um, the state cherry picking lyrics and so forth. But again, um, so I think their recollection of, of that is incorrect, but I don't think that's part of the calculus or the consideration at all because it's not evidence. All right. Your Honor, I have a problem about those last two. Sure. <clears throat> so, first, as it relates to the fact to that the state cannot rebut what is said in opening. Um, and looking at 24-6-621, 24-6-621, which is impeachment by contradiction. Um, also, in reading Carlson's on page 351, which is citing to <clears throat> federal law, federal courts allow parties to counter misrepresentations and opponents op in an opponent's opening statement with contradictory proof. What this page is that? I'm sorry. Page 351. What part of the, um, If you go to... I see it. The I see third, about the fourth paragraph down. Yes, down. Okay. And rebuttal will sometimes mean the counter of factual assertions made during defense counsel's opening statement or for them cross-examination of the government witnesses. So the state can bring in evidence to rebut what was said in, um, in an opening statement. But furthermore, Your Honor, this statement... <clears throat> What Mr. What Investigator Dennis said about the music is an adoptive admission by Mr. Copeland. Mr. Copeland does not disavow that this is just about making music. He, matter of fact, agrees with Detective Dennis. And in court, if you can recall, Your Honor, Mr. Copeland made it seem that YSL is just a music group. Um, matter of fact, I think he even said. Um, the only gang that he associates himself is 372, that he's not even a part of YSL. When I asked him directly, are you a part of YSL, the gang? And he disavowed that. So when you look at what he's testified in support about his disavowment of YSL, that YSL is just a music group, that this is in direct contradiction to that assertion. And he adopts what Detective Dennis says by not disavowing it, not saying, no, it's only about the music. He says, yeah. And matter of fact, he further says it didn't start until we got with Thug. So, Your Honor, for those additional reasons, we believe that um, this portion on um, page 499. We got with Thug or we got Thug? That's what, <clears throat> this transcript says we got Thug. I think it said, I think when you listen to the recording, it says until we got with Thug. Let me let me listen to that portion, please. I just want to listen from about um, line 14 to line 22. Okay. okay. Mr. Yes, Shark, do you have something else? Well, it, it just occurs to me that this adoptive admission argument. Don't worry I about mean, that. Not only are Don't we, worry about that. 
Okay. Okay, don't worry about that. I mean, I'll let you complete your argument if you want, but I'm not convinced it's an adoptive admission, okay? If you're not convinced... All right. Good. Okay. Well, All right. Let me let me attempt to convince the court also by just looking at twenty four six six twenty one. Uh, what it actually says is a witness. Yeah. That's why. That's why I'm not convinced. Okay. All right. Okay. About the music is an adoptive admission by Mr. Copeland. Mr. Copeland does not disavow that this is just about making music. He, matter of fact, agrees with Detective Dennis. And in court, if you can recall, Your Honor, Mr. Copeland made it seem that YSL is just a music group. Um, matter of fact, I think he even said um, the only gang that he associates himself is 372, that he's not even a part of YSL. When I asked him directly, are you a part of YSL, the gang? And he disavowed that. So when you look at what he's testified in support, about his disavowment of YSL, that YSL is just a music group, that this is in direct contradiction to that assertion. And he adopts what Detective Dennis says by not disavowing it, not saying, no, it's only about the music. He says, yeah. And matter of fact, he further says, it didn't start until we got with Thug. So, Your Honor, for those additional reasons, we believe that um, this portion, um, page 499. We got with Thug or we got Thug? That's what, <coughs> this transcript says we got Thug. I think it says, I think when you listen to the recording, it says until we got with Thug. Let me, let me listen to that portion, please. I just want to listen from about um, line 14 to line 22. Okay. okay. Yes, Mr. Sharp, you have something else? Well, it, it just occurs to me that this adoptive admission argument. Don't worry I about mean, that. Not only are don't we... worry about that. Okay. Okay. Don't worry about that. I mean, I'll let you complete your argument if you want, but I'm not convinced it's an adoptive admission. Okay. If you're not convinced. All right. Not... Good. Okay. Well, All right. Let me, let me attempt to convince the court also by just looking at 246621. Uh, what it actually says is a witness. Yeah. That's why, that's why I'm not convinced. Okay. All right. Okay. Who wants to listen to it, you're welcome to come up and listen as well. Or, or. All fish. Mm -hmm. That's not the insult you. That's being real. Like, I know. I, I do. I, I, you want to know we want, we want the stuff to stop. If y'all was just making music, I like rap music. I like full of music every now and then. Yeah. But that ain't what's going on. That's a, that's a fake car. For all this other stuff. It didn't start until we got sued. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Detective Dennis on lines 14 through 16. Part of it is, um, I like some of Thug's music now and then, or to that effect. It's not if he has any. And then, on line 22 of, of uh, 499, it does say when it didn't start till we got with Thug. But what, what, what does that mean? I, I'm, I, I don't know. I'm, all, I, I'm just I'm just listening to it. Okay, so Jenny, you want to listen to it as well? I mean, no, I no, give I, you I, the I, opportunity. I, I, give the opportunity to do so. I, I don't disagree that the uh, that what's in the transcript is is uh, it's not quite it's not quite accurate. It's uh it's close in in regards to that particular portion of what Detective Dan starts off with. Um, okay.
All right. Um, based upon the court's uh, listening to this particular portion of lines 14 through 22, um, the court is of the opinion that it it's um, it is opinion by Detective Dennis and it is speculation. So I'm going to exclude it uh, at this time and omit it. Just that particular section. Thank you, Your Honor. All right.